Hey crew, this uh, video clip, uh, uh, clip of the week, a little something from Rough and Tumble, also used in the uh, early days of boxing, and believe it or not, it was uh, kind of legal. Uh, Jack Slack used uh, a bit. Uh, you think he would have experience with some sort of, uh, it's like a, a reverse rabbit punch in a sense. It's, it's, it's basically called an inside chop. What you're hitting with is, uh, if, if you recall our fist to cuffs material, you're working with the inside of the wrist or this inside of the, the, the fist, like a reverse bottom fist position, but it's done from inside the punch position. Only work this with on the back. Don't take this to your partners, even for t slightly tapping. It's just a fearsome, horrible thing to do to one another. It doesn't take much to really screw someone up. I'm just talking headaches if you really got crazy with and did something. Self-defense, yay, a bag, stay off your partner. On the back, basically it's just what you would think about pulling out in the way, you're looking for the back of the neck and you went from the acceptable bulge down and you know, chopping in with it. We'd find a great drill for us to work with it. I'm not going to throw in all the, the bumps and there's some knee monitoring, some hip monitoring with it as well. We'll hit that in raw uh, 182. But if you're wanting a nice, simple way to run this, you'll hook yourself up on your bag, keep your head nice and tight in with it with your clinch. You're obviously affecting your clinch position. Out slide it and use the head to drive across the face back and forth so you get constant monitoring. Tearing up the heat grind in the face while you're still hitting that slight pull out back in with that reverse cuff position. So play with that. Take it on the bag, stay off another human being, okay? Love each other.